Hey guys, welcome to the kitchen. I am so excited to share with you a recipe today um, for hummus. I had this, we went to my son and daughter-in-law's wedding and we were at a high-end hotel and they served this um, up by the swimming pool. And I kind of come home and did, which is what I like to do when I go somewhere, I taste something that makes me happy and then I come home and make my version of it. So. I'm going to make my version of this hummus for you today. Um, you don't have to use the exact ingredients I do. You can top it with whatever you like. I'm not actually making the hummus. Now I can make hummus. I'll do a separate video on making the hummus itself. We're actually going to top hummus today. If you are having a party, having a get together with some friends, just want something sitting around on the weekend for your family to eat, this recipe will wow them. Like I said, if there's an ingredient here that doesn't fit your taste buds, feel free to change it up and make it yours. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is put a generous portion of hummus. I have a nice size bowl here. It's not huge, not small. Isn't that pretty? My daughter-in-law, one of them, bought that for me. Um, I have, I just bought plain hummus from Sprout. So you can get whatever hummus you like but you don't need anything that's extremely flavorful because you're going to put all the flavor on top. And we're going to put this around the bowl and kind of swirl it a little bit. We want enough because we're going to put quite a few toppings on it, so there will not be a shortage of toppings when we get finished with this. So we're going to smear our hummus around like that. Okay, the next thing I have is some Kalamata olives that I they're in olive oil and I took and I chopped those. So we're gonna put those on about a third of it, like that. And then um, if you follow me much, you'll know that I did, and I have this video on a recipe for pickled red onions the other day. And this is a great use for those. Look how beautiful those come out. I love these. These are so versatile. Use on tacos, hummus, anything. So I'm going to take these red onions and I'm going to chop them because we don't. We want to be able to eat this with a small cracker or chip or something, and uh, you know, be able to dip it out without having an onion hanging off of it. So we're going to chop those onions up a little bit and make them smaller, and then we're going to drizzle these on a third of the hummus. I've served this several times now and uh, people love it. Okay, the next thing that I have is cucumbers that I marinated in just a red wine vinaigrette. I have the recipe on one of my videos for this. However, it is red wine vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of garlic, and honey. And it just makes a really mild um, dressing. And so and it's a little bit sweet because of the honey. So I have marinated these cucumbers overnight in that. And so I'm going to put the other, decorate the other third of the top of this hummus with these cucumbers. This is a great hot summertime snack or addition to your lunch or whatever. Um, okay, look how pretty this is getting. And we're not done. Okay, the next thing we're going to need, um, it, now like I said, you don't have to have these exact ingredients, but I made this pine nut basil spread the other day, and I am just going to drizzle a little bit of this over the top just to add another dimension of flavor. Not a lot, but just, oh my gosh, I can smell that basil. It's amazing. It's so fragrant in here. If you have not made this, this alone is a standalone dip that's uh, awesome. So, okay, you can see how much of that I put over, just drizzled it on top. Now, the next thing that we're going to need is chili oil. I'm gonna get a clean spoon. Okay, I have made this chili oil by taking crushed red peppers, olive oil, uh, minced garlic. You don't wanna use fresh garlic in this because you want it to be shelf stable, so use the dehydrated garlic. Um, and just let that sit and this is set for a while. Now this is going to be spicy so if you don't like spice you'll want to omit this part or just do the uh, 
the oil and garlic or whatever, but honestly, it's not too spicy for us. We love this. So I'm going to drizzle this chili oil, pretty generously for us because we like spice, over the top of this hummus. And like I said, it's got garlic in it, so you're going to add the dimension of garlic on here. You guys, this is getting so pretty. Look. Okay, we're almost done. We're going to top it now. I have some pine nuts that I pre-toasted. Sometimes I toast them ahead of time and put them in a baggie in the freezer, but I have pre-toasted these. And we're going to sprinkle these on top. Just a few. Okay, last but not least, I have, and you can use, um, you can use cilantro, you can use uh, green onion, you can use uh, basil, fresh basil. I actually have Italian flat leaf parsley that I had out um, right here by my back door. It was handy and it's very good on this, so I'm just sprinkling it with some fresh green right there. Okay, look what this looks like. This is amazing. Your friends will say, oh my gosh, how did you make that? Okay, this dip speaks summer to me. It has so many layers of flavor in here. This is like, um, I don't know, what do you say? The cat's meow or something? Mm. That is so good. I dropped a chip. Um, You can change this up. Um, you can marinate like cherry tomatoes on top. You can use fresh basil on top. You can use green onions. Do anything you want. This happens to be my favorite concoction right here. The olives, the um, cucumbers, and the pickled red onion. Be sure and check out my recipe for the pickled red onion. It is amazing. So, thanks for joining me. If this was helpful, like, subscribe, and share.